Hello everybody! Good afternoon! Isa na namang mainit na hapon here at Be Happy TV. Marami tayong matututunan this afternoon and sobrang excited namin lahat dito para i-share sa inyo ang isa na namang technique na I know familiar na ang iba. Ngunit para sa mga hindi pa po ganoon kapamilyar pagdating sa pag-create ng sarili ninyong stickers, mga customized stickers, kagaya ng nakikita nyo po ngayon sa ating screen, ayan po. So, i-welcome natin sa ating, sa ating Be Happy TV virtual stage si Miss Marie. So hold on lang guys ha. It's been um it's been a quite challenging afternoon talaga. But here we are. Ayan, i-add na natin siya sa stream. There you go. Hello Miss Marie. Hi Kate. Hi everyone. So Good afternoon. I hope, I hope you guys are seeing seeing our screen clearly. Ayan. Ayan. So right now, Miss Marie, ayan. I'm here live kasi on our StreamYard account. Ayan. So Miss Marie, what do you have in store for us this afternoon? Um, hi Kate. Um, what I have right now are some stickers that I made. This one. All right, we're back. You guys, I'm so sorry for that um technical glitch, but we're back. Ayan, Miss Marie, everybody can see and hear you now. Can you guys say hi on the comment section if you can hear us clearly? Para naman alam namin na okay na ulit tayo. Ayan, apologies for that. Ayan, we're seeing hearts. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. So once again, you're watching Be Happy TV Silhouette Diary with Marie. Again, Miss Marie, what are we gonna create now? Where's ang cute naman ng mga pinapakita mo na stickers? Oh, these are Spring Garden stickers, a subscription that I have with um, the Silhouette Studio. And also these stickers. Oh, so you what, mess a poster. Yeah, so what I'm going to teach you now is how to make kiss cut stickers and when you say kiss cut the machine is gonna cut the stickers but not through the lining of your sticker sheets so it's basically like this i'm just gonna lift a sticker here and i'll show you so it's like this can you see yes grabe ang ganda ng pagkaka kiss cut niya so, hindi siya tumagos, no, Miss Marie? Hindi siya tagos sa paper. Oh. So, most um, sellers, they use this kind of cut kasi they make their own sticker sheets. So, you can sell stickers. So, yeah. So, you can make stickers, sell um, sticker sheets using the kiss cut style of cutting with your Silhouette Cameo 4. Kasi meron iba pang klase ng pagkat ng sticker skate. Yung okay. diretso siya. So, yun naman, pwede mo gawin when you wanna use or if you wanna make sticker flakes. Pero pag um, sticker sheets, pag sell ka, you may use the kiss cut feature of your machine. So, that's it, Kate. Alright, ayan. So, simulan na natin, Miss Marie, ang pagde-demo how we're gonna create this. So, for those of you who are first time tuning in here at Be Happy TV, I just wanna share with you that every end of the, um, every end of the live, namimigay po kami ng limpak-limpak na salapi. Charot. 
joke. <laughs> Namimigay mo kami ng coupon. So, meron tayong 300 pesos worth ng coupons na ipamimigay later on sa ating lucky sharer. Kaya i-share nyo na ang live na to and be sure na naka-public para naman makita ng inyong mga friends. Ayan. So, once again, um, you are watching Silhouette Diary with Marie here at Be Happy TV and we're gonna start with our demo. Ayan. Take it away, Miss Marie. So I'm just opening up my uh, Silhouette Studio. Ayan, we're seeing your ano naman, screen. Ayan. Okay, so we're just waiting for that to pull up. So while we're waiting for that, Kate, what I'm using or what I use for my stickers are from Be Happy. The sticker sheets, um, one is matte and the other one is glossy. So for materials, they can check out Be Happy for that. Sobrang gandang um, news actually dahil patuloy talaga tayong nagiging one-stop shop, no? Dahil uh -oh. ngayon, available na rin sa Be Happy ang ating mga amazing photo tops. So mak makikita nyo yan later on pag piniture na ni Miss Marie yung ating mga... Um, different styles of beautifying, kumbaga, your stickers. Ayan. So, kawai-kawai sa mga silhouette users natin dyan. Are you a user of silhouette? Can you comment down below kung, anong, kung ano ang silhouette na meron kayo para naman um, malaman namin and we can also parang give you a few advices on how you can maximize the machine that you own. Because Iba-iba, no, Miss Marie? Iba-iba ang ating mga features ng mga machine. Luckily for us, na-try talaga ni Miss Marie halos lahat ng mga silhouette machines there is. So, meron tayo yung portrait na balibalita ko sa aking mga friends na gumagawa ng mga stickers. Ang aking mga sticker people dyan, um, shout out kila Janus, kila Miss Kat, uh, si Min. Ang cute nung pinadala sa akin ni May na stickers ng ano, na before na mga stickers na mga naka-kiss cut din, gumagamit talaga sila ng electronic cutting machine, kagaya ng silhouette. Ayan, meron daw po silang Cameo 4, Cameo 3. Sabi ni Isa sa siya Cameo 4. Si Midge naman ay naka-portrait. Uy, Midge, did you try na yung, um, yung isang ginagamit natin sa portrait, Miss Marie? Yung bagong bili mo nga, yung pipik pang picture. Uh, yeah. We will, ano, then, um, hold on. We okay. will um, tackle that um, in our next episode, Kate. Ayun. Ano nga po ulit tawag doon, Miss Marie, yung pagpinikturan mo? Pick scan. Ayun. Pick scan, you guys. Maganda yun sa portrait. Ay, at least sa portrait, na-try na siya ni Janus, di ba? Ayan. Ayan. Nakikita nyo ba, guys, yung design? Mag malinaw ba nating nakikita ang screen ni Miss Marie? So once again, nandito tayo ngayon sa Silhouette Studio ni Miss Marie. She is um nakasubscribe siya. Magkano na ba ngayon Miss Marie ang subscription natin for for Silhouette para may idea sila? Um to tell you honestly Kate, um I'm not so sure how much yung basic subscription kasi um I've been subs I've I've subscribed to Business Edition ah, a long okay. time ago so upgrade upgrade lang siya so now I don't know how much yung ano sige i ano natin yan i check it's natin it's... i pull out natin siya pero you guys malakas kasi talaga I mean mas marami kang magagawa kapag naka-business plan ka kasi but of course yun nga meron namang um pricing my plan my price plan naman si Si Silhouette Studio for basic. Okay. So, Kate, what I did, mm -hmm. if you've noticed, mm -hmm. um, itong image na to, yung stickers na to, I purchased that using my subscription. Yes. So, when you choose that, lalabas siya sa mat mo. But you need to make sure na ego group mo by clicking on this. I-highlight mo siya. So, drag your mouse and then highlight the whole yes. image. Yes. Yeah. And then just click on this. That's called the that's called the group icon, group or button. Igo group mo siya para hindi maghihiwalay yung printed image plus yung cutting image niya. Ooh, yeah, makes sense. Oh, okay. So dahil sayang yung sticker sheets. 
ang gagawin ko, dodoblehin ko. <laughs> <laughs> Para pati rin ta hindi naman sayang, 'di ba? Totoo, mas maganda na i-maximize niyo talaga yung entire sheets ninyo. Yeah. So now we're gonna print, so make sure that your printer is hooked up to your Silhouette Studio. So, yan, nakita mo na yan. Ayun. Yan yung registration. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So dapat your image is within the registration marks. Beyond that, pag nandito, hindi siya, hindi siya makakat ng maayos or precise. Yes, I see. Ayan na. Nakaka-excite talaga pag nagsisimula ng ganito. Again, guys, um, we want to remind you na what we are sharing right now is based on Miss Marie's own experience on how she uh, malamang tinrial and error din niya yan before when she's starting. So, eto na trial and error na namin for you <laughs> so ito yung kaya ganito yung settings kumbaga na nakalagay sa Silhouette Studio ni Miss Marie this is her tested settings kumbaga yan so nagpe-print na si printer and then later on um since may registration siya of course i'm going to use the map para yung sensor kasi di ba alam mo yung sticker sheets medyo malambot to. Yes. So, so kailangan natin na medyo sturdy na mat para um it will uh, the machine will uh determine the registration marks accurately or clearly. So just waiting for the stickers from the printer. Okay, so any printer, Kate, um, will do, but just remember that you need to make use of a laser printer. Ayan. Hi, Miss Lala. If you're gonna use, or if you're gonna make use of mink foil. Miss Marie, we have a question here from Karen. She's asking, will this still work with the original Silhouette Cameo? What uh, model? Is that the three or the... Previous ones. Wait, silipin ko lang kung nakalapag kanina si Karen. Ayan, Karen, can you let us know what is the model para ma-advise ka namin? Ayan. Nakakatuwa naman si Miss KM. Hello daw, Miss Marie, the silhouette queen. <laughs> Hi, KM. Hi, Miss Lala. Miss Gladys naman. So pretty daw. Pwede bang magmay na ng sticker sheet na yan as early as now? Masyado pa daw po <laughs> early. <laughs> The first one daw po, yung pinakaunang silhouette. Ah, the na ano? Yung first uh -oh. ever siguro na ano. I uh, think ina-upgrade ina po, no, Miss Marie? Um, actually, to be sure, um, honestly, with the previous versions, because I never had a Cameo 1 before, I started with the Curio, Curio. and then the Cameo 3, and then Cameo 4. So later on, after I finish, I will get back to um, what's your name again? Si I'm gonna Karen. do some research. Yes, Karen. Ayan, don't make worry. sure that um, I give her um, an Ipa answer to her question. Ipa park namin ang question mo na yan, yes. Miss Karen, and then we will get back to you. Mag re request din kami sa ating um silhouette. Iko confirm po natin yan sa ating silhouette expert mismo. I have I have already take note took note of, of your question. Para Thank sa you. next episodes natin ng Silhouette Diary, magagamit mo na yung silhouette mo, Miss Karen. Because she's saying na she rarely uses her her cameo tao. Di ba, Miss Karen? Uh, I-ano uh, natin, okay. i-maximize natin yan sa next episode. So, I'm going to um, my cameo. Mm -hmm. So, um, ano ba? Nakikita niyo ba yung ano ko, cameo? Um, wait po, I, uh, ano ko, lalakihan ko ang screen para makita. Ay, there you go. Nakikita na po namin, gumagalaw na siya, guys. So, once again, pinrint po ni Miss Marie on laser printer po ba? Yes. On her laser printer. Pagdating po sa printers, uh, everyone, preference nyo po yon. Kung ano po ang printer na gusto nyo pong gamitin. But for this po, best ay laser printers. Ayan. Okay, so awaiting connection. You know naman ang machine pag nag-connect sa Bluetooth, may mabagal. So let's just wait. 
Yes, guys, kasi Cameo 4 is on Bluetooth. Diba? Hindi siya, yeah. ano, hindi na siya wired. So, less na talaga to sa inyong mga pagsasaksak. <laughs> Oo, less wires. On your de- on your devices. Oo. So, ang, we're just waiting ang cute, for it to connect. I just wanna say, ang matchy-matchy naman ng computer with the Cameo. Pink on pink. <laughs> Yan ang favorite mo, Kate. Pink. True, true. <laughs> Ayan, ang ganda. Yan, nakikita na namin sa screen yung ano, yung yung ating um, silhouette studio. So, waiting pa. Although connected na siya, you can see. Pero the, ano, I think I have to go back and refresh. That's all you need to do. Yes, guys, ganun lang ang pagto-troubleshoot talaga. If you ever you encounter these types of um challenges with your with connecting your machines to your devices, all you have to do is really refresh. So, connecting. While we're doing that, Kate, baka you might want to entertain mo na questions Ayan. while I Okay. So let's refresh the room, lalo na para sa ating mga first-time viewers here on Be Happy TV. So right now, you're watching Silhouette Diaries with Marie, wherein we demonstrate to you how to maximize your silhouette machines. Mapakamio man yan, portrait, or whatnot. So if you have any questions that you would like to raise, especially pagdating sa kung... Um, how you use your machines or techniques or whatnot, feel free to comment down below if you have questions para pwede nating ma-address. But for today, ang topic natin is all about stickers. Kung paano kayo magkikiss cut ng stickers ninyo. For those of you na hindi familiar sa kiss cut technique, this is a form of um a form of cutting kung saan hindi siya nakakat lahat. Isang term din na ginagamit dito is parang half cut. Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na die cut. Kapag sinabi mong die cut kasi siya, yung stickers nyo, yung, kung nakikita nyo yung screen natin ni Miss Maring right now, yung mga gardening tools niya, pag die cut yan guys, as in cut siya ng entire. Yung entire shape niya, nakaseparate na siya, wala siyang sheet. Whereas kapag kiss cut, nakadikit pa rin sa sheet yung stickers nyo. Pero, easily mo siya mapipil off yung design. Okay. So, Kate, I will stop sharing muna. Let me just connect first. Sure po. Okay, there. Ayan. So, reminder ha, uh, for our topic today, stickers, stickers ang ano natin, ang pinaka if you feature natin. So if you have any any questions with regards to creating your stickers, cutting your stickers, or um, other techniques that you want to learn, how to level up your sticker gaming, pwedeng-pwede nyo yung i-comment down below. Okay, medyo natatagalan. <laughs> but you- no worries, Miss Marie. Ayan, i-check up mo na muna ang iyong, iyong device. Ayan. Ang cute talaga ng cameo na pink. Tapos napansin nyo guys na wala yung word na cameo sa taas. <laughs> ano yun eh? Antay dito. Ayan o. Oh, umiilaw siya guys. Ganon siya. Kaya siya nakakakilig. <laughs> Hindi siya print lang basta. There's light. Ayan. Okay. Ready to install. Ah so ano nyo po? I-off cam nyo po. Ayan. Okay. There you go. Grabe, nakakatuwa talaga ang ano, nakakatuwa ang pag-create ng sariling stickers. Actually, one reason why I love stickers is kapag ako ay medyo not in the mood to write. Mahilig akong gawing sticker na lang yung gusto kong isulat or ilagay sa mga sa mga labels or um designs ko for for notebooks, let's say for example, I'm creating a spread Ayoko magsulat, gagawin ko siya, ipiprint ko siya on sticker paper. There you go. We have a question here from Apples. Apples is asking, tips to cut accurately in place po. Isa ito actually sa mga challenges na napapansin na, namin when it comes to cutting stickers, no? 
nagkakaroon tayo sa challenge ng minsan overshoot siya, hindi siya talagang saktong-sakto sa image. Yan yung mga ah. ipapakita ni Miss Marie kung paano niya yan ihahack away. <laughs> Kasi di ba, Ms. Marie, mayroon tayo tinatawag na registration marks, yung mga gano'n. Yes. Very important na, ka, so, na kailangan malaman natin kung paano siya sundin para maging appropriate siya on our sticker cutting. Okay, wait lang, Kate, ha? Kasi I made the kodigo here para I can share with um our fellow Cameo users. Let me just pull up the settings, ha? Sure. Sige po, Ms. Marie. Excited na talaga ako, you guys. So while we are waiting for for Miss Marie to share her screen again, I would like to um invite everyone to share the live session today. I share niyo na yung live na yan dahil kapag nakita namin na shinare niyo yung live, um dapat naka public siya para makita talaga namin. Your names will be valid for entry para sa ating raffle at the end of the show kung saan mamimigay tayo ng 300 pesos coupon na you can claim for checkout. And guys, meron din tayong special code later on kung saan naman makakakuha kayo ng 10% off on stickers, photo tops, mink foils. So yan ang promo natin. And another another code for 700%, uh, 700 pesos off naman pagdating sa silhouette machine. So guys, ang laki-laki ng Miss Marie tago muna. <laughs> ang laki-laki ng discount. Oh, ayan, para sa mga nakasira. Ang laki naman ng Do you see the memo? Ito? Yes po, yes, yes. We can see yours ano po. Memo screen. But I don't see on the screen yung memo that my ano, what do you call this? Ang ah, naka-share screen ka po kasi. Ang naka-share mo lang is yung Silhouette Studio. Oo nga, wait. Dapat po yung entire screen mo po para makita namin yung memo. Wait lang ha. So, entire screen. Ah, okay. So, I think ito muna. Desktop one, desktop. Ayan, thank you so much, Miss Lala, for sharing. Si Miss Lala na ano namin, masugid na taga bye bye <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Actually, nakaka-excite talaga yung mga ganitong episode na nagtuturo tayo ng mga bagay na pwede natin i-apply on both our hobbies and businesses. Because a lot, a lot of you I know are creators, kumbaga. We are designers by heart. So, nakagawa rin tayo ng sarili nating mga sticker design and madalas gusto din natin ma-maximize yun. So, for those of you na hobbyist kagaya ko, pwedeng-pwede kayong gumamit ng mga, um, if familiar kayo sa Canva, pwede kayong gumamit ng mga Canva designs ninyo to turn it into stickers. So, ito na, Kate. Ayan. So, for the Mac sticker paper, Miss Marie, nalalakihan po ba yan? Um, <laughs> Wait lang. I'll stop share. Tingnan ko kung nalalaki yan to. Or maybe you can copy-paste it and then send mo po sa akin sa chat para pwede kong mag-flash sa screen. Sige lang. Perfect. Ayan. So guys, ang ganda, di ba? Meron pa kayong cheat sheet. May kodigo na kayo kung paano natin magagawa, magagawa yung tanong kanina ni Apples regarding sa pag accurately, accurately cut in place ng ating mga stickers. Ayan. There you so, go. I already sent it. So, um, pakita ko na. Yes. Ang ganda, ang gandang cheat sheet nito. So, I will comment it on our live. Oh. Ayan, you guys. I, I, I pasted. Ay, hindi lumalabas ng ano. Dere-derecho siya. Anyway, I pasted it on the comment section po. And I will also be including it here sa ating screen. Ayan, Miss Marie. You can discuss na po our, ano. Okay, so. Yeah. So, for the matte uh, sticker paper that I use, the blade depth is 3. So, kasi meron talagang specific settings ang sticker paper white. Pero I had to adjust it or tweak it kasi para sure na sure na magkakat siya just before the lining of the sticker or yung backing ng sticker paper. So, ang blade depth ko is 3. Ayan. 
the force is 16, mm -hmm. the speed is 8, and passes is 2. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's for the math. Now, um, for the glossy sticker, ibahin natin. Um, the blade depth is 3 as well. Pero babawasan natin, dadagdagan natin yung force ng 17, 1, one point. 1 point naman. Uh -oh. So 17, the speed is the same, 8, and passes is 2. Kasi medyo a little bit thicker yung glossy paper than the matte paper. So I'm gonna show you, um, I'll stop sharing. I'm, I, I hope you can see my workstation. Let me just fix this first. Okay, so ito na siya. Um, okay, so if you can see, so di ko na makailangan ng tweezers talaga. Makikita mo ko, you can, wait, tanggalin ko lang yung six. You can peel off from the sticker sheet. Ayan na siya. Wait lang, Miss Marie. Um, if, i ano lang, ipin lang natin. Ay, mali. Wait, guys. Para makita nyo yung... There you go. Ayan, Miss Marie. So, nakapin na ba? Yes, yes. Nakikita na nila. Ayan, so easy to peel off. Yan, yan. O, diba? And napapansin nyo ba? Na, hindi na, uh, nasa loob talaga siya ng design. Yes. So, perfectly cut talaga siya, everyone. O, ayan. Ay, ang ganda! So, yun lang yung settings na iba follow mo. Now, let's try to cut using the um, glossy one. Ayan. I hope you guys saw that. Ang ganda ng ang ganda ng effect niya. I love it. And very ano siya, very uh, saktong-sakto kumbaga sa design mo. Hindi siya overshoot, hindi naman siya sobrang daming kain sa loob. Okay, so I'm just getting my my sticker. Sige lang, Miss Marie. Kitang-kita na, kitang -kita naman sa mat ngayon ni Miss Marie, no? Na, na uh, what you call this? Kitang-kita sa mat niya na gamit na gamit. <laughs> Kumbaga. Ayan. Okay, so I'm just trying to look for my um, stickers. Perfect for your journals. Tama yon Miss Gladys. One of, one of the ways talaga that I maximize my stickers, I use it on my journals. And you want, okay, so now I found my sticker sheet. Ito yung glossy. May be happy. Feeling ko maraming magsa-start ng sticker business after this demo. <laughs> yes, uh, isa talaga yan sa mga gusto natin itry. Lalo na para sa mga creator dyan na talagang nagde-design ng sarili nila, magandang side hustle ang sticker business. Because you know, it's so easy right now to sell even on, ano, di ba, on Shopee. Nakakapag-sell tayo. Okay, Kate, now going back to your, ano, to what you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. about your different styles. Opo. I don't have the leather top or the, what do you call this? The no. leather top glitter. or the glitter and um, what do you call that? Other photo tops. Okay. So, um, what I'm gonna do is um, teach you how you can apply it to your stickers. Kasi, um, the purpose of the photo tops are just sealant for your stickers. Para meron siyang um, parang added uh, added um, uh, to beautify or to make your stickers more prettier. Yes. Than it is. So if you if you just print out a sticker sheet about like this one, if I'm gonna show you here, there. If you're going to print out this one, don't cut it yet. What you're going to do is you put the sticker, the photo top, and then 
you feed it to your machine and that's the time that you cut para kas damay si sticker i mean si photo top on top of your stickers yes. so basically yun lang naman yun but now we're gonna cut with um the glossy sticker So um, let me just share my screen again, Kate. Sure, Paul. Go ahead. Thank you. So here it is. Uh, let me share screen. Okay, there. Share screen. Ayan. Sabi dito ni Arts and Crafts Galore by Apples. Just write for my planner. You don't have to look for stickers from the thousands we hoard. <laughs> May katotohanan yun, guys. Kasi, di ba, if you are able to print on your own, then, di ba, it's so, so much easier for you. And plus, plus factor, pwede ka pang mag-decide kung ano yung ipiprint mo according to what you actually need. Di ba? Yeah, that's right. So, let me just put, go back to my, ano, original canvas. And, and, and then, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the stickers, yung, ano naman, books naman. For the glossy ones. Ayan. And of course, sabi nga dito ni Miss Gladys, pwede pa tayo mag-design ng sarili nating sticker. Yes. Okay, and that's where um, the offset feature comes in. Kasi when you design your own, you need to make sure na merong allowance. Um, uh, allowance on that image before you cut. Para sakto yung cut niya, Kate. Okay? Yes, tama yun. Ayan, okay. nakaka-excite actually. Kasi sobrang daming features talaga na available si Silhouette when it comes to stickers. Especially if nakasubscribe ka sa Silhouette Studio. So while we're waiting for Miss Marie to share her screen, I would like to remind everybody of what we have discussed so far. So kanina pinakit Miss Marie, pwede niyo po bang ilagay yung sticker na pinipil off niyo kanina? Lagay niyo lang po diyan sa mat ninyo okay. para po makikita lang namin sa screen. Ayan. O de ba? Kanina pinakita ni Miss Marie kung paano niya um intricately nakat kumbaga yung ating sticker. And kung mapapansin niyo, yung design na napili din ni Miss Marie. Miss Marie, gusto ko yung nasa cart para kita nila yung mga dahon-dahon talaga na sakto sa dahon na nakat talaga ng maayos. Yan, yung may gulong. O, di ba guys? Lalo na challenging ang circle kasi halatang halata mo kapag hindi sakto. <laughs> so, di ba? So, yun, baba mo po onte para makita po namin, Miss Marie. Baba mo onte yung yarn. Ayan. Tapos, try to peel it off po. There you go. Ayan, o, di ba guys? Saktong-sakto lang talaga siya. And what's so nice about it is, hindi na, hindi, kumbaga, hindi na damage yung design. Ay, sorry, sa iba pala ako nag a <laughs> Baba mo pa po onte yung hand nyo po. Baba nyo pa po onte. Ayun, o, ba diba? Ayan. So, Ms. Marie, um, we can go back to our screen. Okay. Wait Tapos lang, Kate. Yun, ulitin lang natin, guys, para sa mga katanungan nyo earlier today regarding sa ating um, settings. For Cameo 4, ang na-test na po natin ni Miss Marie is kapag ang material mo ay sticker paper na white and matte sticker ito. Ang blade depth mo ay dapat nasa 3, yung force mo ay 16, speed is 8, and passes is 2. Kapag naman ito ay glossy, mag add ka lang ng 1 sa force. So magiging 17 lang ang force. Yun lang ang pinagkaiba ng ating matte and glossy stickers para sa cameo setting setup. So we would like to remind everybody now when it comes to your machine you need to um really experiment what works well for you. Nandiyan yung oh, totoo talaga yan guys sa umpisa. Marami ka talagang magagamit na mga materials sa pagta-trial and error mo. But through the trial and error, you will finally figure out which works best for you. And especially for the designs that you create. Kasi syempre, iba-iba tayo ng level ng stickers. I remember um, when Janos demonstrated sa ating Be Happy TV how she used her um, silhouette portrait. And naka, ang ginawa niya is, ang sticker niya is yung mismong uh, watercolor painting niya. 
So, syempre, di ba pag babae yung watercolor painting mo o kaya uh, in Janus case, meron niya siyang flowers, iba din yung ano nun, iba din yung need nun, kumbaga. So, ayan. So, nakikita natin ngayon, si Miss Marie, she's setting up another, this is the glossy na no, Miss Marie, na pinrint mo yes. using your laser printer. Yes. So, importante guys talaga na visible ang ating registration mark. Why? Yeah. Yan po kasi ang dinidetect ng ating machine. Isa sa mga challenges talaga is pag hindi na-detect ni machine yung registration mark. So, kailangan talaga darkened, kumbaga, or super visible yung ating registration mark. So, nakita nyo naman so easy kung paano niya finib yung ating mat na nakadikit ang ating um, sticker. So, pansin nyo rin, gumamit din tayo ng tape pang ano, dagdag protection. <laughs> dagdag dikit. Kasi yan yung mga simple hacks na at uh, in the long run talaga, dahil wear and tear nga naman talaga ang ating mga mat, is kakailanganin nyo rin talaga. So guys, I know, baka makurious kayo, Cameo 4 is a non-mat use, uh, parang pwede mo siyang gamitin kahit wala kang mat. Pero this time, gumagamit tayo ng mat. Why is that? Kasi, Sticker po ang ating ginagawa. So best pa rin kapag ito ang ating ikakot is meron tayong nakaalalay na mat sa likuran. Ayan! O ba diba, nakikita nyo ngayon sa inyong screen ang ating silhouette studio kung saan, <coughs> excuse me, kung saan naka-adjust na po tayo ng force ginawa nating 17 dahil nagpalit tayo ng paper. Glossy na ang ginamit natin. Ayan. Grabe, nakaka-excite naman. Kasi this time naman, ang ikakat natin ay may mga words. Ayun, o ba kitang-kita nyo yung design sa likuran. Ito siya, bali. Ito siya. Ayan, wait lang po, Miss Marie. Lalakihan ko ang iyong... Um, photo. Yan, para makita ng lahat. Ayan, ayun naman pala. Na, ay, yung tinest nyo na, syempre, tinest na natin ito earlier today. So, ayan, sinasampulan lang ni Miss Marie. Pero like we mentioned earlier, pwedeng-pwede nyong i-maximize ang inyong sticker sheet. So, in this case, kung makapansin ninyo, ang kinakat natin ay naka-portrait yung orientation. Pero yung pinapakita ni Miss Marie naman na hawak-hawak niya is naka-landscape yung orientation. Kasi minaximize niya yung sticker sheet. Para magkasya nga naman yung two sets, di ba? Ayan. So, for for ano demonstration purposes, kaya natin ganun muna pinakita doon sa kinakat ng machine. Miss Marie! So, I have, ano, mm -hmm. I have um four extras. So, Bigyan ko kayo ni Gladys. Yes naman! Thank At you so ito. much! O, oh, ba Ang ganda. So, once again, guys, ha? Kapag gumagamit kayo ng photo tops, be sure na bago nyo ikat, ilalagay nyo na po yung photo top para pakasabay na makakat siya, guys. And, Miss Marie, will you be yes. able to demonstrate to us how to attach? Oh, yeah! Kasi, so, kuha ko ng ano ko, spare ko, ha? Kasi Sure, Wala sure, Miss Marie. Kasi alam ko you guys might be curious kung paano ba ang mga best practices when it comes to attaching photo tops on our stickers. Kasi kag kung kagaya ko kayo na patanggal-tanggal kasi ang daming mali. <laughs> Mas maganda na makita ninyo kung paano talaga maide-demonstrate ng tama ang pagkakabit ng ating photo top. Meron ding tanong si Miss Aisa, Miss Marie, is it possible daw po, can we see kung paano yung pagbasa ng registration marks? Uh, di ba nung finig ko siya, Kate, did you see that the sensor of the machine is reading this, ito, yung black? Yes. Di, di ba kanina, Miss Marie, nung nilagay mo yung, yung, yung mat mo, di ba dinikit yeah. natin, guys, dinikit natin yung sticker sheet sa mat? Tapos, huh? nung kinain na siya ng machine, yung machine, nag, 
can you point po sa cameo kung saan banda para gets nila yung ayon yung ah, yung ano na yun, yung print okay. yung print out na yon guys yung registration mark ayan pag pinid siya doon um dinadetection ng machine ayun uh-huh. oh doon siya tapos i ga, mapapansin niyo yon yung paggalaw ah okay. okay ang tanong ang pinakatanong ni Isa if the red light is super sakto sa black marking Yon. Okay, so the reason why some have difficulties with the registration marks kasi if they don't print it with best quality, so kailangan vivid yung registration marks mo on the paper. Kasi pag medyo malabo or faint, hindi masase- hindi masas- ma-detect nung sensor ng machine mo yung registration marks. So kailangan, black na black talaga, like this, on your sticker paper. Kasi yung iba, hindi masyadong ano, vivid yung colors ng registration marks or hindi siya ganun ka-dark. That's why hindi siya nade-detect, Kate. Opo. Isa so, talaga yun. Kaya talagang pag pinrint natin, di ba kasi, Miss Marie, sa mga printers, meron tayong tinatawag na um different version pwedeng draft pwedeng standard pwedeng yung yung best na printer yung oh best God, quality best quality yun yung uh-huh. yun yung options mo doon kapag magpe-print ka tapos sa printers meron ding option if ang paper mo matte ba ito glossy ba ito <laughs> makikita niyo rin siya doon sa options ng inyong printers Ang pinaka-suggestion namin dito, kasi minsan nagbavary din sa printer na gamit ninyo, itest nyo kung alin sa settings ng printer ninyo yung pinaka-mabilis na nade-detect ng machine ninyo. At the end of the day talaga, you will still have to trial and error your own machines. Yeah. So I'll just show you, Kate. Ito yung glossy. So i-ano ko lang, code ko lang a bit para makita na nakat na talaga. Maganda din bang gamitan ng tweezer yan? <laughs> um, baka kasi maano eh. Mapunit. Ko lang ito. Ayan. O, oh, ba? Ang cutie. Ayan. So, dahan-dahan mo lang i-peel off. Ayan na siya. And it's really easy to peel naman. Oh. Yun ang kagandahan kay Kami. Ay, kay Kami Yo. So, ayan, o, oh, ba guys? Sobrang, kumbaga, tamang-tama yung pagkaka-offset niya. Yes. Ayun. Ang right. issue pala, Miss Marie, with Isa, mm-hmm. nare-read niya yung registration marks, pero yung cut, hindi daw super accurate. Yun. That's why I'm sharing. Depende kasi sa material ng sticker paper yung ginagamit mo. Um, That's why, eto kasi, I've tried it. So before I came up with this demo, I tried it on my cameo. Yung paper that I will be using, these are all from Be Happy. So the matte and the glossy Miss- ones. So tinweet ko pa kasi the setting that was given to me by cameo when I first tried it, Iba. Ano, hindi siya nag-cut talaga ng perfect. So Ooh. what I did, tinweet ko pa siya, dinoble ko yung pass, Tapos dinagdagan ko yung force. Mm. So, ganun dapat. Kasi it's really trial and error. So, when um I tried this and I I was satisfied with it, sinave ko na siya. Gumawa na ako ng cheat sheet para next time mm-hmm. that I'm gonna print and cut um stickers using um the stickers I got from Be Happy, mm-hmm. yung sticker paper. Alam ko na kung anong setting yung gagamitin ko. Tamang-tama, okay. Miss Marie. Kasi si Aisa, Cameo 4 din pala ang kanyang machine. So, Aisa, hmm. just to put clarity in the response to your question, there are two things. Um, the settings of the... The settings of the... The cut, the cut settings of your machine and then what type of paper you are using are factors oh. when it comes to the accuracy as well of your cutting. Ah, exactly. okay. Yung cut niya po, nakaangat sa image, hindi pantay. Ah, so ibig sabihin, Miss Marie, yung offset niya, yung kulay pula. Oo. Kasi, um, like I said, um, let me show you. Teka, para maintindihan. Yan, so, yan, yan, Miss Marie. Um, balikan mo po yung digital, ay yung design studio na 
nandun uh-huh. sa mat. Nagets ko na yung challenge niya. So, ibig sabihin, uh-huh. imbis na fit na fit dun sa image yung kinakat niya, na-a-adjust na na, kumbaga na nakakatan yung mismong image, yung mismong design niya, hindi sakto. Oo, uh, so ito ha, so share ko lang, wait. Let me share my screen. Uh, gets ko na yung ibig niya sabihin. But let me show you. Okay, so if you can see my screen, these are the designs. So what I did before I shared my screen, I ungrouped the images para lang makikita mo okay. um, where the offset should fall, uh, where the offset should be on this map. So nakita mo siya, kala mo nakagroup, pero inungroup ko na yan. So when I take out one image, tigala, ayan, nakita mo ba? Yun, yes, nakita namin. Para na offset. Yun. So dapat, yung offset, sakto dun sa ano, a little bit of allowance. Ngayon, if you wanna tweak that, example lang ha, let me just copy one, ano. And then, um, here ako. Okay, so ito. So i-ungroup ko siya, kasi isang set, ande, wait lang. Okay lang kahit hindi ko i-ungroup. Yes. Halimbawa, ayan, di ba, meron siya. Nakikita mo ba? Wal- yung... Wala pong nasa ilalim. Okay, wala, di ba? Opo. Yung kagaya kanina, meron eh, may offset Uh-oh. na yung So, kanina. ganito, gagawa ko ng, teka, erase ko muna para madaling maintindihan. Erase ko lang itong mga ibang pampagulo. Para, I'll just show you one image. Oo. Actually, na, actually, Miss Marie, isa talaga yan sa challenges with, with whenever, ano eh, no? Nag, nagkakat ka talaga for your stickers yung mapasakto mo yung offset na talagang fit sa mismong image na kailangan mo. And mind you guys, one thing you need to also be very sure of is how you stick your paper on the mat. Kasi may, kaya rin may guide yung mats natin eh. Factor din yun, baka malay mo, na, na-overshoot mo pala yung papel mo, hindi mo pala nakashoot siya exactly doon. Kaya uh-huh. yung binasa yung registration mark, tumabingi ng onte Ah, 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 ah. Like that. Wait lang ha. So, ipapakita Saka... ngayon ni Miss Marie, parang we're starting from ano, from scratch. So, nag kumbaga it's like she she put her design sa studio. Tapos ngayon, ngayon niya ide-demo sa inyo kung paano siya lalagyan ng offset para masakto talaga siya na dun lang sa mismong image ikakat mismo ni machine, yung sticker. Okay, wait lang. Imo-move ko lang to, di ko makita. <laughs> di ko makita yung ano. The problem kasi with ano, with wala. Wala kasi siyang ano, name. Kung sa offset ba siya, unless you've memorized every icon. Um, every okay. icon. So, kailangan i-hover mo pa yung mouse mo. Para mabasa mo kung yun ba talaga yung tool na gagamitin mo. Oo, oh, exactly. <laughs> eh, wala namang problema nun kasi wala naman talaga nakaka-memorize lahat ng ano. So here's oh, the offset. So just, okay, so mag-offset tayo. Okay, so now na-doble yung offset. So ang gagawin natin, liliitan natin yung offset. Do you see it? Ito yung offset, to. Oh. Opo, nakikita ko po. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin, dapat sasaktuhin natin yung offset sa kanya. Miss Marie, pwede ka po bang mag-zoom in pa ng onte sa mat mo? Ah, wait lang. Paano ko i-zoom in to? Wala na siyang ano eh. Um, wait lang. Wait, wait, wait. Sure po, sure po. Yan. Nakik- dalawa yung ano niya eh. Dalawa. Nakop. Dapat ano, wait lang. Tatanggalin ko lang to. Kasi meron siyang offset. Pag tingin, paano ko ba i- i- ma-maximize ko? Pag nakita mo, Kate, ito, itong red na to, offset yan eh. Hindi Opo, ko siya... Opo, nakapaaninag ko po siya, yung design. Oo, yun. yun. So, actually... Pag gagawa ka ng offset, dapat yung image lang para hindi siya mag, uh, ano, yung sakto siya talaga. Wait. Parang ito siya, o. Oh. Ayan, nakita mo ba to? Yes, opo, ganyan na. Yan dapat. 
Tapos Tika yan lang. lang yung ikakat ni machine, yung offset lang. Oo, yung offset lang. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hindi, pero hindi, da, kasi magpiprint and cut ka, alangan, ops, uh, alangan naman offset lang. So, yun yung idea. <laughs> oh, okay, of course. <laughs> Natawa ako. Opo, guys, ganun yun. Siyempre, so, siyempre, pinrint na nung machine mo yun. <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's just, paper. ano, um, kasi meron siya, meron na kasi siya eh, nakatrace na. But, um, let me just try this. Ay, meron akong gustong basahin, Miss Marie. This is from an official, Ay, official statement of Silhouette. If ah. your registration marks are not being read or yung um, print and cut nyo is misaligned, all you uh-huh. have to do is... um. If your registration marks on print and cut job cannot be read properly and auto registration mark reading process fails or the alignment is off for cuts, uh-uh. you have to check if these are the following concerns. Mm, okay. The latest version of your Silhouette Studio is not in use. Ibig sabihin, guys, you really have to update your Silhouette Studio. Number, yes, of number course. Two, the cutting mat settings in the software do not match the actual setup. So, uh-huh. minsan factor din yun na, na magkaiba yung, yung cutting mat natin. Next, uh-huh. the mat or the material is not being loaded properly. Di ba kasi minsan uh-huh. pag kinakain ng machine yung, yung mat, may chances na tumabingi siya or what not. So, we have to be very sure na talagang na-load natin ng maayos yung ating mat uh-huh. sa machine. Uh-huh. And then, of course, uh-huh. meron din isang issue. Perhaps, the material is not being lo- uh, the material is not being loaded, placed properly into the cutting mat or is in the wrong orientation. Ito na nga oh, yung sinasabi natin kayo na. Oh. Oh, na oh, oh, oh. Halimbawa din, Miss Marie, ang ang nasa hmm. silhouette studio mo, portrait. Pero yung pagkakalagay mo ng papel, ng print out mo, ng cut and print mo, is nakapalandscape. So, syempre, tabi na talaga yung mga kakat nun. Uh-huh. And then, next naman natin na pwedeng troubleshoot natin don is, the material in use has a color or surface that is not conducive to the optic scanner and so the registration marks cannot be read properly uh-huh. on the material type in question. So halimbawa, let's say for example, yung ginamit mong sticker sticker paper, let's say, is hindi niya hindi siya na-print ng maayos dahil ang ginamit mo ay dye ink kunwari. So nag-fade uh-huh. siya at some point o kaya hindi mo napansin na hawakan mo siya. So yung thumb mark mo na smudge niya kunwari yung registration mark, mga ganong type uh-huh. of, of issues na pwedeng mag-arise. So, yun talaga. Pero number one talaga when it comes to these issues is hindi ma- maayos ang pagkakaprint mo ng registration ano marks. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is trying to recreate uh, Okay, ito hindi na lang. Hindi ka naka-share screen, Miss Maria. Ay, sorry. Na-ex mo po. Okay, sorry. Um, So, let me just so anyway, balikan natin sa glit si Aisa. We okay. want to help you further on this, Aisa. Please send us a message. Uh, we would be very glad to assist you para makita talaga natin what is your specific um issue with with the cutting machine. Para if ever, we can contact as well si Silhouette para mapakita sa iyo kung ano yung best course of action na gagawin natin. But as of now, with this demo, ipapakita lang muna ni Miss Marie Wa, kung ano yung best practices niya in order to assure assure na accurately cut yung mga stickers na ginagawa niya. Okay, so let's try this one. So this is just a letter B tapos mag-offset tayo, okay? Kasi pag, pag hindi ka nag-offset, ikakat niya yan yung outline ng B. So ito yung offset. So pwede mo siyang i-widen or i-decrease yung size. No, ay, hindi. Wait lang, ha. Iba yung na-click ko. There. Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait lang, Kate. Mm-mm. Sure, no problem, Miss Marie. So, maybe you guys have other questions as well. This is the perfect opportunity for you to raise your issues. 
kagaya ng pagtatanong ni Aisa, you guys, this is really why Be Happy TV exists. Gusto namin bigyan ng mukha, ng personalidad, ng taong pwede niyong kausapin, ang brand ni Be Happy. Kasi alam ko marami sa inyo, sa Be Happy kumukuha ng kanilang mga products, ng mga kanilang mga consumables, sa Be Happy na purchase ang kanilang mga machines. So gusto talaga namin maipakita sa inyo how best you can mani- maximize, kumbaga, your purchases from our company. So, hindi namin kayo matutulungan if hindi nyo rin sasabihin sa amin kung ano ang kailangan ninyong tulong. So guys, do not hesitate to leave questions, especially with portions and uh, portion of your create crafting, creating na nagkakaroon kayo ng challenges with. Ayan. So nakita oh, niyo ngayon. So kita mo, ayan. So all you need to do is just highlight that and then offset. So, pagawa siya ng... Wait, bakit ang sinag... Nagkaroon ng ano? Wait lang. Okay, there. So, i-offset mo lang siya. There. Did, did you see that? So, gagawa siya ng another image a bit bigger than your original one para doon siya magka-cut. So, ang mangyayari nito is you're gonna print this and cut. But of course, ito, yun as, yung letter inside, you should change that to um, print instead of cut kasi makakat din yung gitna. So, nakita mo siya. Ito yan eh. So, ang gagawin mo, ito, you should change this into cut. So, I'll just get an image in my library just to, just to show you. Uh, let me see. Ito yung files ko. Okay. Ano ba itong words na to? Yan. Ayan, meron na siyang... Did you see that, Kate? Mm-hmm. Ayan yung offset. Ang galing ko lang tong letter B. Andun siya sa maling ano. There. So, ito siya. Ayan, o ba? Diba? So guys, papansin niyo kagaya ng pinapadinidemo ngayon ni Miss Marie, she is creating her own ano designs, ba? Diba? Yung text, ano lang to, textiles lang to. And so with just siya. fonts, ba? Diba? Yes. Ibig sabihin, Miss Marie, kahit nasa Silhouette Studio sila, pwede silang mag-design mismo, ba? Diba? Yes, you can use letters. Oh. You can buy the images. Mm-mm. And then, what you're gonna do is, when you choose the print and um, cut, kasi pag nag-print ka, definitely, ang gagawin niya, magkakaroon ng registration marks. Yes. Be sure na when you print and cut, pag wala pa siyang given na offset, all you need to do is just go to this um, portion of your, or this part of your, um canvas open the on the offset. right side Mm-mm. yeah click on this star it says open offset panel yon so miss so, Marie, meron siyang mm-mm. sorry sorry nag nag overlap yeah so meron siyang two styles the corner at yung corner ito yung parang rounded so depend this image mo if mm-hmm. you want a, a a a corner or a rounded um a square or a rounded corner you can do so. You can choose between the two. Tapos, of course, you know, offset dito yan sa labas. Internal offset, yun nasa loob. If you want the offset yun nasa loob. Internal offset. So, eto, this one. This is the offset. So, yan, Kate. Hello, Kate? Yes, yes, Miss Marie. Makita po natin. May tanong si Miss Rose. She's asking, same guidelines po bang i-apply if Cricut Maker ang machine? Yes, there's offset for Cricut. And it's, um, tawag dito, uh, a bit easier kasi nakalagay na kaagad dito sa may top. Let me just pull, uh, dito sa top, nakalagay yung offset. Ikiklik mo lang yon. tapos meron siyang parang knob that you can scroll or pull to the left or to the right if you want to increase or decrease yung offset. So, let me just show you na lang kaya here. 
Pero this is not, this is silhouette eh. Okay, so let me just stop sharing first. Okay, so just to answer your question, yes, there's offset in cricket. And I hope uh, the ambassadors of cricket will also um, join in uh, to share um, the question, the answer to the question. But yes, there's an offset panel for that. Uh, let me just pull up my cricket design space. It's usually at the top. So ito yung, let's say, this is my mat. Can you see, uh, Kate, can you see ba? My... Hindi ka po naka-share screen. Okay, hold on. Ayan. So once again, guys, let me refresh the rooms. The room, for those of you who are just tuning in with us, you are watching Be Happy TV Silhouette Diaries with Marie, wherein nagde-demo kami kung paano ginagamit ni Miss Marie ang kanyang silhouette machine. So right now, we're using the Cameo 4. So ayan, gumagawa tayo ngayon, ang project natin for this afternoon is how to create seamless, perfectly, accurately cut na kiss cut stickers. Okay, do, do you see this, Kate? This is the offset panel. Ayan. So if I'm gonna make an offset for this, so nag pa siya, all you need to do is just click apply. If you want to lesser or make sure that the offset is smaller. So you just pull this all the way to the left. If you want to make it bigger, all the way to the right. Yan yung offset. On Cricut Design Space. Ayan na yung offset. So let me just apply. So to, to that person who asked if there is... Um, wait, let me just make this white. Ayan. Can you see, Kate? This is the offset. Yes, yes po. Ayan, o diba? Mas That's for Cricut. Cricut Design Space. Mm -hmm. Yan. So we are doing this just to show comparison, guys. Okay, so enough about Cricut. Let's go back to Silhouette. Okay, so um, so basically there, um, all you need to do is make sure that the offset is a little bit bigger than your original image. And then you're good to go. Hindi magkakamali sa pagcut yung machine because you've given allowance um, from your image for Ayan. the machine to cut. So I would like to say lang, Miss Marino, para may clarity lang sa ating viewers. So here at Be Happy TV, fini-feature naman natin lahat ng machines na kinikater ni company. So, yeah. we also have a show that specifically tackles for cricket. So, feel free to review the, the live that we had with Main, some Maker Main Studio, because she also showed to us how she uses her cricket machines to create seamless cuts for her stickers. Although the concept is the same, this time kasi we are able to demonstrate on the actual cameo. Kasi cameo yung feature natin for this afternoon. Ayan, so, ne. ayan, it's about time for us to reveal na, Miss Marie. Let's make the big reveal of our codes. Uh, wait lang, Kate. Um, about your question about the photo top. Ay, opo. So, as not for not uh, to make a mistake on applying the photo top. So, ang gagawin mo lang, ipipil mo lang naman yung photo top. And the problem with no nails, ang hirap. <laughs> I wish I have nails, okay? Okay, so, ayan. Just for demo, okay? Pero kasi dapat, before cutting your stickers, dapat ang unay mo, i so gato mo lang, i-line up mo lang yung photo top mo on your sticker. And then, ayan siya, Kate. Mm -mm. Make sure na pantay siya. And then, there, cut me excess, and then feed to your machine, and then cut. So that's how it is. So dapat hindi mo muna ikakat yung stickers, i-apply mo muna yung, ano, edikit mo muna yung photo top, tsaka mo dagdagan yung settings para pag-cut niya, kasama na yung photo top. Mm -mm. Okay. So there. So let's put this aside. So ito na yung stickers. I mean yung code, Kate. 
Ayan. So, big reveal na natin ang ating Sige, Ms. Marie, konti pa up to the right. There you go. Perfect. Up on te. Yon! <laughs> so guys, you're seeing on your screen the code for this afternoon, which is KISSCOT 10%. It gives you 10% off on stickers, photo tops, mink foils. And our second code is KISSCOT 700, which gives you 700 pesos off on silhouette machine purchases. So, ayan. So, you guys, don't forget to share this live so that you can be eligible to for an entry para sa ating raffle later on sa ating um, 300 pesos na coupon to be uh, purchased sa ating website. So, once again, yung code din natin, no? This is only available on our website sa behappyph.com. Okay. All right, so Kate, um, if they have any more questions, but these stickers, Kate, I'll be giving to you and Gladys. Yay! That's the oh, other diba? one. Meron dito sobra eh. Ayan. Namay na agad. <laughs> Namay na agad. Oh, ayan na. Oh. Ayan. Okay. So guys, please don't forget that codes are only valid for five days. So is screenshot nyo na yan. So that you can maximize your purchases on our website. Ang ganda ng mga photo top stickers na available sa ating Be Happy website. So, go nyo na yan, guys, talaga. Ayan. Pero pa tayong question pala. We, Remember the first one? Um, if Cameo 4 can print and cut? Ay, Cameo 1? Yes po. Yung, yung tinanong kanina ni, um, ni Karen. Oo. Oh, Tama oh, si Karen so, na ba yun? Okay, so I'm trying to find out. Pero don't worry, Karen, kasi if, Karen, if you're still watching us, uh, please send us a message o kaya mag-post kayo sa ating community. You guys, i-maximize nyo na lahat ng pwede nyo i-maximize with Be Happy because you can freely join our community. So go ahead and join us at Be Happy PH Crafter Circle kasi dito you will find people with your with a like mind mga kasama ninyong nakikicraft at pwede kayong magtanong ng mga tanong na nahihiya kayong itanong. Yan ang kagandahan ng meron kang community kasi you get to experience talaga um, uh, camaraderie kumbaga, ika nga. At dahil meron din sila noon, eh mas madali para sa kanila i-explain kung paano mo mapagtatagumpayan ang iyong current challenge with those type of issues with your machines or consumables. So, ayan, Miss Marie. Ayan. Okay, so, um, I will post na lang um, or comment on the live yes. about the Silhouette Cameo 1 if it can do a print and cut because I don't want to say that it can. Um, I want it to be sure uh -oh. para I can give you an accurate answer. Yes, ayan. So, Miss Marie, invite them naman to watch your show tuwing kailan nga ba nila aabangan ang Silhouette Diaries with Marie. Silhouette Diaries is every end of the month, so usually 30th or the 31st uh, at 3 p.m. Um, so I hope that you um, join me again for the next episode of Sil Silhouette Diary with Marie. Ayan, yes, 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 guys. And aside from that, actually, may pa bonus pa kami. Because Miss Marie is actually doing demonstrations specifically for silhouette. So, abangan ninyo kapag may mga post kami ng mga silhouette 101 sessions. And free po ito. So, feel free to join us as well. So, I am now pulling out the winner for our sharer. Our lucky sharer. So, I hope you're seeing your screen right now. Pinapakita ni Miss Marie ang ating done project. Siyempre, Hindi ko magawang hindi ko maiwasang kiligin pa rin tuwing nakikita ko ang cameo ni Miss Maring Pink. <laughs> Ayan. So, hintayin lang natin dahil ang aking mahiwagang ang aking mahiwagang ruleta ay naglo-loading, guys. Isa talaga to sa challenges ng mainit na panahon sapagkat nag-overheat din ng very very light ang lahat ng mga devices. Kaya bumabagal ang ating internet connection. So I know you guys 
this is not the most conventional or typical experiences natin pagdating sa learning kasi nasanay pa rin tayo na face-to-face, workshops, and all that. Pero because of the pandemic, no, natutunan natin yung mga ganitong digital setups. Ayan. So, ayan na. Unti-unti nang umiikot ang aking ruleta. Ganun ka bagal, you guys. I'm so sorry talaga. Pero ito na talaga siya. Ayan. Congratulations, Kai. Tinininin. There you go. Congratulations, Kai. Gaysel, how do you read this? I'm sorry, guys. Gaysel RT. Teka lang, wait. Um, i- ano na, a- nandito ka ba, Gaysel? Pagpagalawin mo ang baso? <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! Nandito ka pa ba at nanunood sa atin? Ikaw ang ating lucky winner ng ating 300 pesos coupon. Ayan, pina-flash ko na sa screen. Please screenshot na lang, Giesel, um, and send us a message here on our Facebook page. So you won 300 pesos off. Ayan. Ayan, Giesel is here. <laughs> Ayan, nandito ka pa. Congratulations, Giesel. Ikaw ang nanalo ng ating coupon for this afternoon. Please send us a message para maibigay sa iyo ang iyong special code para ma-check wow, out mo congratulations. Na, ang mga be happy be happy angels natin ang sasagot sa iyo. Ayan. So once again, maraming maraming salamat and we hope we've earned the privilege of your time as you joined us for another episode of Be Happy TV with Silhouette Diary. So maraming maraming salamat po for always tuning in Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, share away talaga. Follow us on our YouTube. And for Miss Marie, you can also follow her at Papier Manila. O, oh, ba? Just look for her Facebook accounts because when you follow Miss Marie, makikita nyo ang iba't ibang mga samples na ginagawa niya. If you haven't still um, seen it, meron palang post si Be Happy yung Ferris Wheel. O, oh, ba Miss Marie, ang ganda talaga nun. Namay na ba yun? Char? Hindi pa. Gusto mo ba yun? Opo. <laughs> ang bilis ka usap. Ito pa ina to. <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> ganun lang. Diba? Ang dami kasi talagang projects na pwedeng gawin with your silhouette. So, ayan. Once again, maraming maraming salamat for joining us. And magkita-kita po tayong muli sa susunod na Be Happy TV. And guys, katapusan ngayon ng March. Malapit na mag-April. Bukas na ulit. So guys, April na bukas and we're celebrating our 10th year anniversary. So abangan ninyo ang napakaraming announcements ng Be Happy in celebration of our 10th birthday. You guys, 10 years old. Wow! Yes, be happy. Yeah, oh, diba? So guys, abangan nyo po yung lahat at napakarami pa po, maraming maraming pang aabangan here on Be Happy. And maraming maraming salamat sa patuloy na pagsuporta sa ating Be Happy TV. Please don't forget, last na talaga, don't forget to join us on our Facebook group Para naman, mas lalo pa namin kayong ma-service, o ba? Mas lalo pa namin kayong mabigyan ng suporta. Join us at Be Happy PH Crafter Circle. Once again, my name is Ninang Kate and I am with Miss Marie. Join us again next, next episode ng Be Happy TV Silhouette Diaries with Marie. Bye everyone! Have a Bye. good afternoon! Thank you, Kate!